Hey y'all, it's Friday. So let's make a flux core video. Let's call it flux core Friday. We're going to join these pieces of half inch plate. And uh, look, if you'd like to make flux core Friday a, a, a weekly thing, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know if uh, you want to do it. I'm up for it. Okay, so the first thing that we got to do is we got to prep our pieces, and I'm just using a 60 grit uh, flap wheel from Hercules on my uh, Bauer angle grinder, and I'm just going to take the mill scale off of this, and then we're going to bevel the edges. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to weld this to the center of that plate. All right. Now, once we've got all this uh, mill scale off, we're almost ready. But what I want to do, since this is so thick, I want to bevel this edge. So I'm going to go put this in the vise and take care of that real quick. Okay, I've beveled both sides of these. And I left myself maybe a 3 16 inch land on there. Can you see that? And the reason why I did both sides is we're going to use the titanium Easy Flux 125 on one side, and we're going to use a 220 powered flux core machine on the other side. But when you have metal this thick, you definitely want to bevel the edges so that when it sits down on there, it looks like that. Okay, for our first test, I'm using the uh, Yes Welder Firstus DP200, and uh, I've got it on flux core mode. Let's see how it does. That's a lot of wire being fed down. I think it was on 472 inches a minute, about 21 volts. Uh, but that that uh, that definitely welded it together. So we're going to do this other side with the uh, titanium 125, and uh, we're going to see how that looks. Okay, one thing I want to mention. Uh, when you're doing thick material like this uh, and you've beveled it, you want to make sure that you get the wire on your first pass. You want to make sure that you get the wire down into that bevel. Um, you know, make sure it's in there good. And then you can build off of that on your other passes. And if you're going to do multi, uh, multiple passes, make sure that you're using a wire that's rated for multiple passes. Uh, in this instance, I'm using the Lincoln wire that's rated for multiple passes. And then before you do your second pass, of course, you want to wire wheel it so that you get all that slag off. So on this one, I'm on the titanium and my settings are H9. That's pretty hot, but let's see what happens. All right, let's brush that. Okay, so we definitely need to do another pass on that. We're probably going to do three passes. I'm going to pass one along the bottom, and then I'll do one on top of it.
Okay, let's do our third and final pass with the uh, titanium 125 on this half inch material. All right, so let's take a look. Ooh, this is hot. So if you can see that, uh, that's three passes with the um, titanium 125 uh, on this half inch material. Would I recommend doing half inch material with the titanium? Uh, no, I would not. Uh, with proper prep of the material, I would stick with a uh, quarter inch. Um, anything bigger than that, uh, you're going to want to do something like this, where we did a, a, a 220 volt machine with a lot, sorry, this is very hot, uh, with a lot more volts, uh, or doing stick or regular MIG. But, um, I mean, it... It doesn't look bad, and that is three passes. That's one pass inside the bevel, in the groove, uh, one at the bottom on the edge of that, and then one along the top covering uh, those two. And, you know, it might be okay, but I don't think I'd want to use it on something critical. But if it wasn't something critical, you wouldn't be using half-inch material. Um, so in my opinion, I would not use the titanium on half inch material unless you had to, and it was a project of yours. Uh, and I would, I would stick with regular MIG or stick, uh, for this half inch. If that was stick with that bevel, I would have run a 6010 inside of it and then come back and cap it with a couple of passes of 7018. Okay, so that's it for uh, Flux Core Friday. <laughs> um, please give me a thumbs up on this video. It really goes a long way for the analytics of uh, YouTube. Uh, if I don't have a bunch of thumbs up, they're not going to push my videos. Um, but uh, Again, leave a comment down uh, uh, down below if you want to make a, a regular, if you want to make Flux Core Fridays a regular thing, and uh, I'm up for it. Uh, you know, give me some ideas that we can do with some Flux Core, and I'll make a video and uh, every Friday um, as long as I can because uh, I do these for you, you know. Um, yeah, I make a little money off of these videos, but it's, it's piddly. It's, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of the big, big things, but look, it's 4th of July. Get out there, have some fun, celebrate our freedom, but uh, don't celebrate too much. And please, please do not drink and drive. Um, it's really cheap to call Uber. Um, and that's a lot better than killing somebody, killing yourself, or getting a DUI. Uh, but don't drink and drive because we want to see you back to work Monday. Have a great weekend.